from Memphis, Tennessee today. Two of the top teams of the league, the SMU Mustangs, get set to take on the Memphis Tigers. Pre-game, here's Memphis head athletic trainer, Darby Rich. Should be a battle here today with an outstanding crowd on hand as well in the FedEx form. Yeah, it, it went from feeling like it was empty to getting pretty full quickly. Probably enjoys it, enjoying one last pre-game beverage on Beale Street. Here's Jones on the step back and misses rebound picked up by Samuel Williamson. And here's your starting five for SMU today as Williamson takes it in. Got it back. And now the recipient for the easy two. Good feed from Chuck Harris. Here's your starting five for the Tigers today. And it's about playing together as a team, right? Which is what this group has done to get to that 12 and two mark to start this campaign. And, and it's playing the way Penny wants them to play, which to a lot of people seems chaotic, but that's who they are. And this, this is the type of stuff you're gonna see. A lot of flow to the game so far, even if it's been a little choppy. Yeah, that was a long three by Quinterly that time. Here's Williamson on the turnaround. No, but they get it back once again. Keon Ambrose Hilton inside. Count it. Phelps shut off in the interior, gets it back out for Harris. Phelps in a step back three. Got it. So understood. But hey, still to come away with a win, right? You're gonna, you're gonna take that. Part of that is style. If you can get the game played to your style, you can overcome a lot of things like turnovers. Nice. What a feed inside. Jaded Hardaway almost a travel, and instead he throws the pass right into the hands of Chuck Harris. And a steal the other way. David Jones. Rebound's great. But it'll wear on you if you're SMU if you want to play 40 minutes like this. A little bit of a scoring drought here for the Mustangs. Three minutes and 20 seconds and counting here. Three ball again in the corner. This one is good. Counting for Ricardo Wright. For SMU, and they've been physical, tough rebounds. They've established how the game's going to be played physically. I think Memphis has established the pace. Smith telling everybody to clear out as he takes wow. it in and scores it over Tomlin. I mean, that's just big and good for Naquan Tomlin, just walling up, playing straight up, avoiding the foul. But the physicality is being established by SMU. Nick Jordan and the pass is deflected out to the hands here of Walton who gets it over for Jalen Young. Young over Harris, got it. That's tough. And it's just like feeling out process. Sometimes it lasts a half, sometimes it lasts 30 minutes, but man, they figure it out and they find a way to close. Memphis still feeling things out in this game. They're gonna have to level up their physicality because right now that's going the way of SMU and Smith has been really tough down like Tomlin. That was one of the best defensive possessions for Memphis in the sense that they scrambled, they closed out, they even got switched up and they still kept playing. Walton rejected inside. Keon Ambrose Hilton, SMU running Phelps. Uses his body and converts. If you like the matchup, but again, David Jones, be prepared. There's going to be a double coming. This is what you do. Retreat dribble. Get yourself open. Have cutters. There's things that need to be discussed because that option's there. How about the runner here from Samuel Williamson? So far for SMU. I'd love to see this. Feed the post. They're looking to double. Now look at this. Tenacious defense here from SMU. They get it out to Tomlin. A contested three. That's off. Shows the offensive rebound, and he was fouled. And also very frustrated here. Situation, you have the advantage. Oh, no, platform, you can bet that. 7.30 p.m. tomorrow. Like, if they're like, hey, we're gonna call it a multicast. Like, no, it's bigger than that. It is. It's a mega cast. Flint, Five. Michigan, mega bowl. <laughs> Five point lead, SMU on the spin as Williamson, he does wow. it again. I mean, yeah. they're forcing rough shots, uh, rough shots, because Memphis is just, uh, there's another easy one right out of the timeout. You go to a bigger lineup in person, they're far better. Which means they're far more challenging for, for an opponent that might not be prepared for this. They're very deep too and athletic. And interchangeable it seems like as well. That's a block and a goal set is gonna get called. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look at it. Well, it didn't get blocked. Underneath the basket is Harris and gets it in and a foul's called to count the basket for Smith. It's been phenomenal here to start this first.
Tomlin's got to get on the other side, force him out. Well, he knew it, but it was too late. Reversal for Jones. Again, and better in person. They are better in person than what I saw on tape. They are really intense on the deep, defensive end. Crowd is getting Russell Smith to the hole, and he's fouled. I mean, they, they are unquestionably being, been able to withstand any attack from Memphis. And that's what we were talking about earlier. Savannah, because then you have to scramble really well. That could be it. Oh, that's on J oh, Jordan. Oh, yeah. you're right. Yeah, no. Uh, Jordan just kind of ripped him. And he was just growing in terms of the fire they have on defense. Nine of 12, not okay for you? No, it is. I, I should say that. Not many. I just feel like every time you turn around, they, they have the ball. And an offensive rebound. Hudson, it's it back, powers his way inside. Look out. Oh, I mean, Malcolm Dandridge doing his best not to foul. And by the way, Malcolm Dandridge, I'm going to say it again, he looks terrific. This is the best shape he's ever been in his entire career. The hope is that he can just play more significant. Indicating well. Hudson injected by Dandridge, but right into the hands of Smith. You can just see they're pointing, they're, they're communicating. A lot of that comes from the communication on the defensive end. Steal here for Memphis. What do do? They need it. Young to the hole for two. Now you want to pick. Harris is saying, go away. I'm going to fire up a three, and it's off, and it's rebounded by Memphis and Walton. Young. Good job to stay with it as he gets to the Walton for three. There are calls. So if this happens and this happens, right. what does that mean? Well, that's some switch we can't think of them all. Yeah, that's how tough it is on these officials for sure. There's so many rules and regulations. Nice. Sure. What a play here by Jalen Young from Memphis. They cut it. Walton coming back. Look at Young on defense. And that pass is deflected on its way up. They wanted an alley for Dandridge. Here comes Edwards for Phelps. Score. And he thought he got fouled as well. I think Nick Jordan's going to be really important for this program at some point this season. I think he already is. He plays significant minutes, but he's got to get comfortable with the pace, right? Making decisions that are quick, more instinctual, less calculated. Walton, the ball screen, I think he's been masterful. I think they could go to that more fundamental defense. And they can play physically because they're not playing with hands. See the rebounding numbers, 24-9 in favor of SMU in this game here today. They lead it by 10. I didn't need to see the numbers. You see the game. Yes. Phelps. Oh. Oh. They're going to call the foul. It's going to be on Tomlin. I thought like SMU was going to come out here first. Andrews has two. Tomlin has three. And then to your point earlier about the game, right? There's got to be you watching it and just giving us your thoughts. Well, I'm going to give you the thoughts no matter what. <laughs> Thank you down here. And now basket scored by Memphis and David Jones. And the final shot could be taken here by SMU with a 10-point lead. The fact that there's not a Manning involved in any of that is, yeah, something feels wrong. Williamson. Clock is down to eight. Phelps. Kicks it to the corner, a three ball, Hudson, it's not there, it's offensive rebound, and it put back up and in, story of the first half, Samuel Williamson, count it, and SMU is going to take a 36 defense. Walton off the inbound for three, it's good. Jaquan Walton. It's a good start. The key for Memphis is you want to find some things that you can do with confidence. They haven't really done much with confidence, particularly on the offensive end. So find some actions, find some options, get, get your guys some space. And if that double in the post is an opportunity to create an advantage, go for it. He's hit two of their seven to ten, the only Memphis player in double figures. Jones for three. You set it. <laughs> there it is. All right, so lefties going to the right. Jordan. Good transition defense, though, getting back. Jones thinking about it again. Pulls up and hits. Yeah, told you it could happen quickly. Phelps has it. Ball knocked away. Jones has it for Memphis. Up to Jordan. 
to chase a play without fouling. Love using Nick Jordan in that situation, but what a lineup right now. Tomlin, Dandridge, and Nick Jordan in. Here's Williamson for SMU, and he converts on the jumper, and he puts him back wide open. 40 to 34 SMU. Not one player is in double figures in scoring for the Mustangs. Very balanced here today. Inside for Dandridge, oh, yeah. and hard to stop that from point blank range. Hard to stop, but smart. If you're going to get a switch, again, play to your event to be right. Sure, well, no, <laughs> playing together, you're right. A little out of sorts for sure in that first half, and much better here. Almost another block by Dandridge. Balls inside, a fight for it again. On the deck is Jones. Somehow gets it up to Watson, and he finds a streaky Dandridge. Well, Williamson had it, but instead he took it in, gets it back to Harris, and the long jumper is off and rebounded by Tomlin. I'm telling you, I, I believe that they've established what they want to do defensively with that run and jump early, and that's going to be a foul. David Jones going to the free throw line. You establish, indicated himself. Mm -hmm. There's weight room, but there's also fitness. Go back for Coach Hardaway back at East High School here in Memphis. Back in his way in, the ball got deflected. Hudson, and SMU gets a steal. Oh, I thought SMU got away with one there across the arms. Right, and he'll go to the free throw line. Chris Blue. Potentially go this year. Well, the potential is incredibly high in terms of Final Four. They can play on subs. I think Reed Shepard changes them too. How about Malcolm Dandridge? Run the floor, big fella. Count the basket and the foul. Even on a 26 to 11 run since then. Hudson. Second try, and you just saw him with the up fake, and then three whites. To David Jones, though, his first, and Hudson's got one more for Cam. Been in the rotation here, that group of 10 players that have played all right. Chris is campaigning, right for three. Rebound. And up the court for Jones from Young, and he tries to go, Elliot Jordan! Wow. And a foul. It's a big difference between that. Whole idea of offense, if you run it properly, offensive oh. possession allows you to do what you want to do on the defensive end, and that's not one of them. That's not it. Young got it stolen away. Right. And he got it back. A little fade away. Nothing there. Watson, point early. Feeds the cutter, and stands where he's fouled. And we'll have a chance to tie it up at the free throw line. Before, excuse me. Here in Memphis, I mean, it's a physical battle, back and forth. There's 5,018 action. Oh, not, yeah, no. On, on, we're talking here for Keon Ambrose Hilton. Was he the one that kind of hooked? No, Tomlin's got it. Well, Tomlin's on. I mean, to a flagrant one, so it's two shots and the ball. Still, Tomlin has fouled out because that was his fifth. And so what? Doing a nice job here today with under nine to go in this contest. And here it is on the far side. Walton gives it back up for Jones, 10 to shoot. Memphis down two. Jones ties it up. 14 now, John, to lead the Tigers in scoring. Well, I told you, you get 20 pretty quickly. Phelps got it knocked away and stolen. Nick Jordan, tough, good hands, covering the basketball. Jones, Memphis's first lead of the day. Country, and it's a Memphis team that does get to the free throw line a lot. In rotation for SMU, and Edwards missing on the three. Jones has got a man down the court. It's Jordan to the cut of Dandridge, and it's in the hands of Quinterly for three. Jones the offensive rebound, back to Quinley, three ball, got it! <laughs> Quickly back the other way, the ball is loose, Keon Ambrose Hilton, and he cleans it up, and he is fouled. How about that? Wow, what, what a great basket to get for S Swag, too. Second half shooting 11 of 19 at fifth. Boy, he was great in the first half. Talking about 12 in red for SMU. Here's the three ball instead for the Tigers. No good. Dandridge, the rebound. They're going to call foul. 
times this year where he's going to have to play 30 plus. Rock and women's basketball tournament that begins March 9th. Sign up today, ESPN Plus. See Charlotte beats FAU. I mean, what in the world? Yeah, North Texas won the NIT. And oh, and they beat UAB. Right. Paris. Five point deficit now for the Mustangs. He cuts it to three. This is where you have to convince yourself that it's okay to be tired later. <laughs> right. Quinterly. That's tough. How about that? That's tough. And, and he really offensively hasn't done a ton today. But giving up easy ones when you pick up and pressure can't happen for Memphis. Right back down to Smith. Who's got 11. SMU's won four in a row. Memphis has won seven in a row. Quinterly is bumped and fouled by Smith. Who picks up. Team and been around. They played a lot of college basketball. Now here at Memphis, talked about why he was coming here. He's got. We got a chance to win a national championship. That's why I'm coming here. We got great people. Competition's awesome. This crowd is Crowd's amazing. Great. He loves it here. It's a great program. Yep. And you know, you want to add perspective to your staff. That's a tough finish. You, you don't. You, yeah, you're adding guys who have been in different roles, like a head coaching role, but you're adding perspective, eyeballs. Maybe see something that you don't see. Correct. Harris does it again. Penny's done a great job of that. He's had some awesome assistants over there that, you know, have more experience and have coached a longer time. And now we've got a little bit of 10. SMU is actually the only team that's won. Well, Bandamel, this is different. About slow down, settle. Decision making down the stretch is what wins or loses your basketball games. Harris, that's a tough one, and he had guys down there for the offensive rebound. They got it. Hudson, back out. Here's Ricardo Reyes, and he hits the three. And it won in games decided by six points or less. So they found ways to win here with this veteran and experienced team. Can they do it again here today? Right back in a similar situation. Quinterly, the cutter is Jordan. They're all over him, and he swings it out to Quinterly in the corner. Quinterly, up top, Walton for three. And Smith has the board for the Mustangs, and they can regain the lead. Harris, as he bounces it to Smith, they're going to call the foul. That's an untired foul. But you're putting really a 55% free throw. That's a little big, we'll call him. Well, there it is, John. He said it one of two uh, to tie it up here. And here we go. Jones, the game high 17 points, hands off to Dandridge. Leaves it back for Jones. 15 to shoot. Wants a long three, got a piece of it. And that was Jalen Smith that was able to block it for SMU. Just a couple of bad empty possessions for Memphis here down the stretch. Up top, Chuck Harris. Ten to shoot. Harris takes it in. Floating runner is no good. Tangent. Wow. How about that board? Okay, the board's one thing, but he contested that shot and got back up to get that rebound. It's impressive. Feels like he's got more than four rebounds today, but that's what the stat sheet says. And here's Quinterly with a minute to go. It's still a tie game to 58. They could have drugged that out further. Quinterly. That is rejected by Smith yet again. And now... We're going to just still not a great possession. Javon Quinterly had the opportunity to continue to drag the defense left and maybe get the big Tyreek Smith to stay with him. He bounced it back out, and the guard was able to get back to cover. Smith, two of three at the free throw line now, two of four, and there's a whistle to foul the other way. Let's see. It doesn't make any sense there's to no me. Way. But that's how big this game is for both teams. Yeah, part of me just wants to say whatever, go ball. Uh, it'll all work itself out in the end. Quinterly. Pops it up. It's short. Rebound by SMU and Jaheim Hudson. Eight and a half second differential. Shot clock and game clock. SMU will have to put something up. The ball's in the hands of Harris. He's directing traffic. Wants to clear out. Oh, Harris has been good off the bounce, and they got trusted. And Quinterly might dig down, but you don't want to get an open three for right. Eight to shoot. 
Corner, driving, Hudson, dishes at Smith, rejected inside, they're gonna call a jump. Jump, jump, jump ball, ball away. Hardaway gonna put it in with Quinterly. Plenty of time. Jordan, Walton, and Jones, here we go. Time out. Yep, you got it. All right, John, it's time. Quinterly, space. Eight seconds to go. Quinterly for three. It's good! Three seconds remaining. How about that? I think the correct term is backers. That's not a great play. You really didn't get what you wanted, but you got Javon Quinterly an opportunity to win the game. Very similar to the spot that he made the shot against Tulsa. Exactly. Yeah. David Jones not able to get the back cut, not able to get it. I think they were seeking David Jones out, but Javon Quinterly, the guy you go to, that's two game winners in a row. If they can get a stop, question is, do you foul? Gets it in Harris. Three seconds to go. Harris, and he is going to be fouled. So Jordan fouls him at half court. It's going to be two free throws. He somehow found a way to win. Uh, wow. and so there's the first part. <laughs> one point, one remaining. It's off the front rim. It's picked up by Dandridge underneath the basket. There is a foul called with .3 seconds. For them, man, they're real. They are. Chris faces, they battled today. Had a 15-point lead in the first half, but not going to be enough here. It's, but here, it's blocked, and the Tigers come back and win eight in a row in the same similar fashion from the other night. Quinterly hits the game-winning three. Pretty amazing. The Tigers get a 13-2.